Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got part two of my West Coast full schemes. Like I said, this entire weekend is the best of the best of my West Coast playbooks. Um, so, you know, I don't really have too much more of this, but I'm loving the West Coast. If you guys want to keep seeing West Coast, let me know in the comment section or whatever uh, playbook you guys want to see. I'm, I'm really digging the alternate books. I'm going to have some run and shoot or run and gun. I forget which one it is uh, that I'm having quite a few people ask for. I, I'm having requests for both, but that's going to be coming soon as well. So for the people that are using those alternate playbooks have no fear they will be coming soon uh maybe the next video actually maybe tuesday's video so like i said hit the like button or let me know in the comment section if you want to see uh any of these alternate playbooks uh specifically other than that let's go and let's get right into the video today i'm going to be focusing on uh, the doubles north formation i'm just going to show some run plays today but this is a really good passing playbook uh a passing formation rather so hit the like button if you want to see the passing plays out of this tomorrow on sunday uh, which I would really like to do. Uh, some home run plays, some really hard to stop plays. This is a great formation. It's one of my favorite formations uh, that they really toned down. As far as I know, it might be in one other playbook. Uh, the double south is in like a ton of playbooks, but the doubles north is hard to find. Uh, some of the some of the run plays I'm going to show you today are not in any other playbook, and that includes the one I'm going to show you first, which is the halfback pitch. Now this play should look a little familiar. Uh, it's very similar to a play that I was out of the gun tight a couple years ago that was destroying Madden. Uh, that play, the only difference between that and this is this receiver here was right next to the tight end. I mean, that's really the only difference. Uh, you know, that play, they patched that with a quickness. Uh, and it's still, you know, you can't even, like I said, you, that, that play I think is gone. This play here you can't even find anywhere except for in the West Coast, which means it's not even available in custom. Uh, but there's really no need for adjustments. You can run this play just like this, and it's going to be very strong. You can see right here, uh, we're having success right off the bat. Not really much that I did right there other than just run the play. You can see I got about 15, 20 yards. Now, if there is an adjustment that I would make, as long as my opponent's not running a man coverage, you can motion this guy across, motion snap him, and give yourself another blocker. Now, I got another another lead blocker out here, and you can see the result's pretty similar, but a lot of times that lead blocker can really come in handy. If you know that your opponent is running a lot of man coverage, say they're running a lot of man blitzes and stuff like that, you can flip the play the other way, motion this guy across, and the, the cornerback will follow, leaving him bare to that side. Now, you can see, obviously, this is not a man coverage, so it doesn't help me out. But ultimately, you know, you can have big runs if you know they're running that man coverage. You can make that motion and still have that success. So like I said, right here, best best way to play this is motion this guy across. I use the motion snap, but it really doesn't matter. You can let him get set because some of the passing plays that I'm going to show are going to have the exact same motion. So you can really confuse your opponent what they're going to see. So right here, I mean, that blocking really didn't set up. I had two guys essentially blocking one guy. I would have been sprung. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, I'm surprised I haven't hit any home runs yet because ultimately this is a home run play. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to run one more time in the, in the hopes that the blocking sets up the way it should. Sure looks like it is. As you can see right here, this is just leading me to daylight. And I didn't quite have the speed to get going, but that's that's easy touchdowns all game. So like I said, easiest way to do this, if it's a man coverage, leave it alone. Just run it. If it's a zone coverage, motion this guy across. Because if it's a zone coverage, you'll get a blocking advantage. If it's a man coverage, you will not. Uh, the motion block is up to you. You can do that either way, however you want. Uh, but you can see, I mean, the consistency of this play as we finally break what should be a touchdown. Um, it's just, it's just overpowered and over and completely consistent. You should run this. This should be the the, the number one run play that you use if you run this playbook. Now there are two more good plays out of this. Uh, one of which is a trick play. And that's the jet sweep. We'll go ahead and show that real quick. I got my speed guy in the slot. This play right here, man, it should be used in conjunction with these other two plays. The halfback ace power is the other really good run play um, that I would use quite a bit in this. Uh, so luckily it was in the uh, adjustments and I could basically show both these. Like I said, hit the like button. We'll come back Sunday uh, for these passing plays. Some really good passing plays here. But uh, ultimately this this run play here, this 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 sweep uh, from the slot receiver, that's going to be best if you can, if you look to the right and there's no uh, there's nobody in the gap between Kittle and Samuel, that's going to be when it's best time to run this. So let's just go ahead, like right here. This is a pretty decent time uh, to hit him with this outside run. Sometimes you just got to take it a little bit wide because, you know, sometimes that defensive end can linger on the tight end. But ultimately, like I said, right here, this is perfect. They're trying to hit you with a blitz. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing on that side. Um, I don't want to spring it, stretch it out this much. Uh, I'd like to take it up shorter uh, up the alley there because to me, the quicker that you turn up, the less time that it takes for the sideline to become a problem. You can see right here. I mean, once the sideline becomes an issue, the sideline won't miss a tackle. 
But if I had my choice, I would like to go right in between where Kittle and Samuel are. Now, like I said, there is another uh, run play in the audibles. That's a halfback ace power. This is probably best used uh, as like your inside zone or um, your inside run. I typically want to run it to the other side. Not because I have an advantage by any means, but because I really want to have attacks to all sides of the field. This is pretty similar to the quick pitch. So if I run it here, it's just going to get my opponent to the point where they're flowing constantly to that same side. And I don't want them flowing to that side. I want them to think that the ball can go anywhere. So I'm typically going to run it this way just so I can give them something to look at the other way. Even if it's not the most dominant run. Even if it's just a couple yards every time, I want them thinking about multiple things. That's why this is a scheme. So if I have to, and if the hole's not necessarily there, I'm going to still run it this way just because I want them looking at that direction. I want to, I want to keep them off balance. I don't want to constantly run every play in the same direction. So you have your quick pitch, which is your run to the left. You have your uh, wide receiver, uh, you know, end around, which is your run play to the right. They're both obviously uh, dramatic outside runs. Then you have your inside run, which is the ace power. Now, if you do the same motion, it's going to make the play a pretty good play. It's going to it's going to have a very similar effect to it that uh, the other play does. So like I said, you can still do that. But ultimately, um, you know, you have runs to all over the field now. You have a, a wide right, a wide run to the left, a wide run to the right. Then you have an inside run uh, to both directions. So like I said, you have a full attack here. So a lot of these plays have very similar concepts. The wide receiver corner and the bench switch are going to be very similar. But the wide receiver corner at least has that cornerback route. So to me, this is the best one of the two. I guess we'll pick uh, cover two to start. That's typically the easiest way to go. So this play right here, like I said, this is something that... Um, you can do uh, with a couple different plays. I'm basically going to be focusing on the left side with the Y and the X route. If it's, I can, I mean, you can put this guy here on a flat route. You can put the Y route on a flat route and have success with this in the underneath game, just pitch and catch, and then you can steal some yards pretty much all game. That's something you can do. So in the last video, in the run plays, I made use of sand of this uh, motion here, and I'm going to do the exact same thing on this play. So I can keep that flat route that I had with Goodwin. I just now I'm doing it with Samuel. And if I do it with Samuel on the outside like this, he's uncovered now. He's not, he, he's gonna be the first read to that cover two cornerback, unlike in the previous setup, because Goodwin's in closer, he would have been a, a secondary read. So the defense is gonna react differently. And the idea here is to get uh, Sanders open now. Now this is to make an explosive play to the X route. So even though it's the same cover two and it looks like a very similar setup, it's going to be different. As you can see right here, that streak pulls that safety back, the flat pulls the corner down, and we have a really big hole. So if I want to, I can do that streak. I can put uh, Samuel on that flat ahead of time, and then I can get like a running start. If I put him in that on the way across, I can get that exact same look in like a running start too. As you can see right here, it basically comes out like, uh, you know, that's almost like a wheel, like a, uh, a bubble screen or something if you do it like that. So there's a lot of things that you can do here um, to get some advantages with this look. Like I said, it's pretty tricky. And if, like I said, if I snap him when he gets right behind the, seat, the receivers, you can see right there. A little bit of a bubble screen. Get that exact same thing. We get a nice catch and run. We get it to our playmakers and let it make plays. So there's a couple different ways you can run this play. It just depends on who you want to hit. So if your opponent is usering, say you come to a stop and your opponent knows what you're doing, they start usering that X route, that's when you hit him with the other variation. That's when you hit him with that little bubble screen. Make sure that he's staying down. But you can see, I mean, this is definitely a big lane. As you, I got to I gotta safe catch that. Probably want to run that a little bit closer to the other boundary, but it's still a really successful play. And then if you really want to, um, you can put the A route on the streak. It just kind of helps out everything at the end of the day. Um, but there's a couple different things you can do. Like I said, this is something that is really a hard to play, hard stop, or hard play to stop. As you can see right here, I fumble my words and we get a touchdown. Typically, I'd have to edit that out, but since I scored a touchdown, I'm about to leave it in. Now, this play is also really explosive against cover three. You don't necessarily make the same motion, though. That's really the only thing. Um, you're going to be streaking these inside routes, uh, and you're going to try to exploit the Y route this time. So basically, that X route, once you motion him out, pulls that cover three cornerback down and you can see how easily this is a one play touchdown against cover three cover two you can do more things you can still do a lot of the things that you were doing um, i mean you can do like you can have the exact same setup uh, as far as uh, as far as that goes but you're not going to have that explosive play to the outside which is what you want but you'll still have this so if you run this if you run it this way against cover three a lot of times you'll have this receiver this uh this um corner route but obviously why would you want that when you can have an explosive play 
uh, explosive home run play. So this is obviously better. For whatever reason, this defense, I don't know why that cornerback comes down the way he is. I mean, this is just so gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's an easy mode touchdown. Cover three is not very good. I've, I've made a lot of videos explaining how they both basically broke cover three. Uh, and it just really makes the seams that much easier to hit. Um, you can use the same motion in some other run plays that I showed just to set up this one play touchdown so it doesn't look so obvious when you pull it out. But, I mean, this is just, I mean, he's gone after about 20 feet uh, down the field. I mean, you can just tell that there's just no safety help over the top. It's a good man beater play, too. I mean, you don't really need the A and the RB route, the, the running back and the tight end. You can block them. This is an all-out blitz. Uh, but it's going to, you know, obviously that, uh, that X route there. Is going to have a lot of success so any man coverage uh, the corner routes gonna have success I'm not gonna spend too much time going over it people should know by now uh, that that route works uh, and if they use that route for whatever reason if they're trying to send an all-out man blitz or using that route the B routes pretty good too uh, it just takes a little bit more time to get open as you can see right here I mean that's just getting toasted so you have good routes on both sides uh, for people that like to use man coverage so whatever the man coverage is you just block uh, the A route and the RB route, you don't really need them, and you have some really good options um, to the edge. So, whatever they're running, all out man blitz like I'm running here, uh, we'll cover one or cover two, it doesn't really matter, as you can see right there. Probably threw that ball a little bit late, um, and the pressure got there, but it's still a good play. So, another awesome one play touchdown against cover two is the curl drag. I'll pick that next. This is a very unique play with a very unique route. We'll pick uh, the nickel cover two. This will work against some odd coverages like. Uh, the cover three cloud, the cover six, because half of the formation is a cover two. You just have to identify which side of it's a cover two. Uh, but like I said, we'll just go. We'll pick uh, cover two, show four. It doesn't really matter. So like I said, I mean, if you if you can read which side of the defense is a cover two, then this play will work. You're just going to motion them across, just like I showed in a lot of the run plays. Uh, this is all you really have to do. And then one of these receivers here uh, has to be on a streak. It doesn't really matter which one. But if you put this one on a streak. Uh, a lot of times that'll make more sense because you want to pull the safety inside. It doesn't really matter, but that's definitely one of the ways to go. And then the B route is going to be the play. As you can see right here, he's just wide open outside uh, because it shoots right for uh, the gap. It shoots right where the area is that's open the most. Like I said, it doesn't really matter which receiver you put on that route. I mean, I just give myself a drag because I want to check down. I typically will block these the, the tight end and the running back, although, that, although that's completely unnecessary because this play gets open so fast, you're not really going to get sacked. I mean, that just doesn't happen. So, But it's still a good idea. Like I said, give yourself blocking, give yourself as much as you can. The safety there, he wasn't even threatened. He just knows the streak's coming and backs off. It's just a an error when it comes to cover two. If you want to, you can borrow from the same concept that I was just doing as I accidentally put the wrong guy on a streak. If you want to, you could have all the plays on this side of the field and just put this guy in a flat. He'll still get open a lot of times because, like I said, he's kind of covered up. He's close to the line. He's going to be the last receiver that the defense accounts for. And you can see you really have three different options here. You have three different layers um, just by making these adjustments. So go ahead and I'll just put these guys on blocks one more time. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to go for the home run. But say I guessed wrong, say it was a cover three or something like that, the Y route's going to be then the option, and a really good option at that. But like I said, I mean, it's, this is just like stealing. As you can see right there, my biggest issue is the silent. That's the only defender that's anywhere near stopping this play. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vid there. Just a couple of home runs to go along with some of the home run uh, rushing plays that I put out, out of this formation. Uh, but if you guys want to see more like this, more videos like this, um, out of the West Coast, out of whatever alternate playbook, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to hit the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.